friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And today I want to talk about an easy and frugal way that you can unclog your sinks and your tubs if they are more mild clogs, like, you know, maybe a slow drain or nothing real heavy duty. And it's also a great way of keeping up on your drains and your pipes. You know, if you do this maybe once a month or so, uh, I try to remember to do that, but I don't always think about it until I notice things that are starting to drain slow. Now, most of the time this is quite effective, but for a, a real solid, a real, real bad plug, you may have to refer back to the video that Patrick did with that bladder. The little bladder thing is very inexpensive and you can find it at your local hardware store and also on Amazon. I'll link to the video where Patrick shows how to use that. And I highly recommend that you get one of those and have it on hand. So what's going on right now is my tub is draining really slow. Now, though this method works quite often for that, a lot of times the clogs that we get in our tub drain, this is, uh, sometimes they're a little tougher than that between, you know, all this hair right here that tends to make some good solid uh, clogs that we have to re we have to go back to the bladder and in this situation I did have to do that but I still want to show you this is the method that I use initially to see if that's going to work and sometimes it does and then if it doesn't then we can pull out the hose and the bladder so the first thing you do and these are things that you should already have on hand anyway um, is you start with about a quarter to a half cup of your baking soda and just pour that into the drain again bathroom sink kitchen sink tub pour that down in there and uh, add more if you feel like you need to but a quarter to a half cup should be su sufficient and then once you do that Oh, and by the way, while you're doing that, get a good pot, a good sized pot of water heating up on your stove because you want it boiling, boiling hot. And then what you're going to do is after you get that baking soda down in there, start pouring some white vinegar down there. But it doesn't have to be the store-bought white vinegar. It can be your own homemade vinegar. I've actually done it with both because I wanted to see if the homemade vinegar would work just as well. And it did because I recently had a clog in, I think it was the kitchen sink, that was just a mild clog. And I used the uh, baking soda and the homemade vinegar. But oftentimes I like to keep the white vinegar on hand so I can save my good homemade vinegar for all the other things, especially things we're going to ingest or using on my hair and such things like that. And then use the cheap GMO vinegar for uh, cleaning the toilet, you know, getting the, the mineral buildup off of there and also for unclogging drains. So just start pouring that in there and do so liberally. I usually pour a little bit let it bubble up when it starts to subside i'll pour some more then i'll let it subside most of the way down so i can kind of take a look at it and then pour some more and i'll keep doing that until i know that pretty much all the baking soda has been worked through and then i'll follow that up with that pot of hot water and then pour that over it what that hot water is going to do is it's going to help flush everything out especially if you have any kind of oil or fatty type buildups in your drains and so that's going that should help quite a bit now as i said i you know you can see in the video clips here i did do that the it's still draining slowly now you still have the option of just getting sodium hydroxide and pouring that down there but you know some people may prefer to kind of hold back from using too much of the lye and having it go into their septic and so this is a really good method to do and then if this doesn't work I recommend uh, again checking out Patrick's video and it looks like that's what we're going to have to do for the tub it's still draining and it seems to be draining better since I did this it's still just a little slow so there's there's something in there that needs to come out so I think we're gonna have to resort to that but either way give this method a try first for whatever it is and it is also good upkeep just on your pipes in general to do that every so often even if you don't have a clog sink okay well I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new thanks for watching take care and God bless